Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with Learn Blood Sugar Testing. Going to go over some potential error codes that can occur with a Contour Next Gen blood glucose meter. First of all, you want to reduce the chance of errors by uh, looking at a few things, um, ensuring that you're using proper technique. I do have a video that goes over how to use the meter if you need to review that. Always make sure your test strips are in date. Um, replace the batteries if you're getting frequent error messages. If you haven't replaced the batteries in a while, sometimes low batteries uh, can cause uh, error codes to occur. Always store the test strips properly. Ensure that you close the lid and um, keep them out of extreme heat and humidity. And again, avoid extreme temperatures. So error codes, E1 means too little of blood was used on the test strip. You need to repeat that using a new test strip. E2, E2 will show up if you insert a test strip that has already been used. Simply repeat the test again using a new strip. E3 means the test strip was inserted upside down. Reinsert the test strip properly and proceed with testing. E4 indicates you've used a test strip that is not uh, to be used with your meter. Ensure that you have the proper test strips for the blood glucose meter that you're using and repeat the test. E6 is a moisture damage test strip. Again, we always want to make sure we store our test strips properly. Simply repeat with a new test strip that has been stored properly. E8, a strip or test error. You want to try repeating the test with a new strip and contact customer service if E8 continues. E20, uh, also a testing error. Again, repeat with a new test strip. And if it does continue, that would be an issue where you would want to contact our customer service. Uh, and then there's some error codes related to extreme temperatures. E24, it's too cold to test control solution. E25, too hot to test control solution. E27, it's too cold to test. E28, too hot to test. For all of these codes, you'd want to move the meter control solution if you're doing a control solution test and test strips to the appropriate temperature. Wait 20 minutes and repeat the test. System errors, errors E30 to E99, indicates the meter or software has malfunctioned. Power off the meter, power it back on, and repeat the test. If it does continue, this would be an issue where you'd want to contact customer service. Extreme results, low, can show up on the meter if your reading is less than 20, and that would be an issue where you would certainly want to seek medical help. Uh, that can be extremely dangerous. High is when your reading is over 600. They recommend you wash your hands and try to repeat the test with a new strip. If it does continue to result in a high reading, you'd want to contact your healthcare professional. I do hope you appreciate this information. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.